Hey, what's up everyone? My name is William and today we're going to be going over the modulator MIDI effect. So I've just opened up a new session here and I don't have anything on my instrument track yet just because there's a little bit of setup. So I figured we should go through this together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our instrument and then we're going to go and select an ES2 synthesizer. Uh, the reason we're using an ES2 is because we have this router area here uh, and this is just one of the easier synths to use with the router area. So um, we're going to use the, the factory default sound. It actually doesn't even matter what our sound uh, sounds like in our sound engine here. But we need to make sure that this is right, right here, this, this uh, modulation uh, target and source. So first of all, we're going to start by changing the target from pitch 1, 2, 3, which is the factory default. And we're going to change it to cutoff 1 and 2, cut 1 and 2. Uh, next, we're going to leave this mod wheel uh, the same and then it says the source is an LFO2 so we need to go down here to our modulation section and we need to make sure LFO2 is doing absolutely nothing we need to turn it off so the reason we're doing this is because with our modulator we're going to be controlling our mod wheel and um, we want our mod wheel to be controlling the cutoff of our filter on this synth just so it'll be much easier to hear. And uh, also we turned off LFO2 uh, just so we didn't have two LFOs interfering with each other just so again it'd be easier to hear. Of course you can use two, FL, two LFOs uh, to modulate this but this is just for the example that we're going to be going over. Uh, next we're going to click this zero right here to set the default values to zero to make sure the min is max is at zero on this and we're going to drag this orange arrow all the way up to 1.00 and then last but not least we're going to go over here to our filter one and we're going to just drag the cutoff all the way down. So now that we've done all that we're going to close this out and we're going to go over to our MIDI effects section and we're going to open up our modulator. So right off the bat we have uh, you know, we have two, section, two sections, an LFO section and an envelope section. And uh, right now you can see the LFO section's on. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this effect and I'm going to play a note and we're going to just listen to what that sounds like right now. So it was actually really hard to hear because if we remember from our uh, ES2, we turn the cutoff all the way down. So it's a sound playing with the cutoff of a low pass all the way down. So that's why it's really hard to hear. So we're going to turn on this modulator. And by default, it should be set to mod wheel. We're going to just make sure that's set right. And now when I play a note, it's actually taking uh, the LFO in this modulator uh, MIDI effect and we're using it to modify our mod wheel which if you remember in the ES2 the mod wheel is controlling our cutoff values so that's why when we're holding a note now we get that we can hear that cutoff going up and down so that's just an example of something that a modulator can do uh, going over real quick the, the different uh, parameters in this um, starting with the LFO section. The LFO at the very top, we have our waveform here. This is just a visual of what our waveform looks like. And we can also, just right here, we have a slider that changes the symmetry that can angle the, the wave shape, uh, you know, to the left or to the right. Uh, then of course we have four buttons right here, which determines which type of wave we're gonna be using. You can actually see down here the, the wave, you know, actually uh, simulating. Um, and then as we change the rate over here, you can see the wave slow down and speed up. Um, but moving on, of course, this is the rate knob. I just kind of went over that. Uh, if this note button is highlighted, it's going to be syncing to our BPM. That's why we get, you know, one bar, uh, you know, half notes, uh, fourth notes, and etc. cetera. Uh, if we turn this off, it's to hertz, so we can get a more, you know, precise value if we please. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on sync for right now. Uh, we also have a trigger mode that determines when the LFO will be triggered. Uh, and then we also have steps per LFO cycle slider, which steps per LFO cycle, uh, it kind of just determines the the definition of the wave. If we have, you know, a very low rate, you can see the, the actual steps in the wave. If we turn it all the way up, it's just a more high def wave. Um, so that, that actually about sums it up for the LFO section right here. Moving on to the bottom section of the LFO side, uh, 
We then, of course, have our target destination, which it controls where our LFO is going to be modulating. Uh, and then we have an output level and an offset. And the output level actually uh, is from zero to one. It, it just determines the intensity uh, of the LFO. Uh, so like right now, I have it at half output level. So it's only going to be at half the intensity as, you know, as it was before. So if I'm holding a note at full output level, it sounds like that. However, if I turn it down to halfway, it's going to sound like this. You can see the cutoff doesn't go nearly as high as it did before, and that's just because uh, our LFO is, of course, controlling cutoff. Um, next, we have this offset, which it uh, it determines the the offset of MIDI value uh, of where the where the LFO will be. So right now our LFO is going from you know a value of zero all the way up to 127, or excuse me, it's going from a value of minus 127 to 127. And we can offset this, you know, if we, we only wanted to, if we wanted to go from, you know, uh, from negative 100 to positive 127, we could add 27. And then that last 27 wouldn't be uh, affected. Um, I know, I know that Kind of doesn't make sense what I just said, but it's just it's just simple math, really. It's just um, you know right now it's going from negative one twenty seven to one twenty seven. If you want to you know add or subtract any from that, you just drag this offset. So like if I drag this all the way up and I held a note, it's just like the LFO. It's as if the LFO were off and the cutoff was all the way up on our filter. If we dragged it all the way down, it's as if our LFO is off and the cutoff is all the way down. You can hardly hear that because the LFO, because uh, the cutoff's all the way down. Uh, but that, that about sums up the LFO section. I'm gonna leave it at zero so we have this sound again. Uh, moving over to our envelope side, we have a basic envelope, an ADSR. Uh, and then we also have a trigger mode, uh, steps per envelope pass, which is also kind of just a high definition for the envelope. Um, and then we also have envelope to LFO rate and envelope to LFO amp. These two uh, knobs here are controlling the values at which the envelope affects the LFO rate and amp and percentages. So 100% it's gonna fully affect it, 0% it's not gonna affect it at all. And then at negative 100%, it's actually gonna do, it's actually gonna fully affect it, but it's gonna fully affect it in an inverse way. Um, so that's what these two knobs are. So let me just put this, uh, these both to 100%. I'm gonna lower this attack all the way. Uh, lower the hold, and then we're just going to have that short release here. So, also we have to make sure this is affecting the mod wheel uh, as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the note, and we're going to listen to how it sounds differently than we just had the LFO. <laughs> it has a kind of a, a short attack of the LFO being off and then it goes from a very fast rate to a slower rate, back to our default one fourth. So that's some different things you can do with the uh, envelope. And then we can also set our output level and our offset, the same that we can do with our LFO over there. Um, but but that about sums it up for the modulator. There's there's a lot of cool things you can do with this, and of course you don't have to only control a mod wheel for the target uh, for the target value. You can you can control any any of the MIDI controller values uh, that you have. Um, I just decided to use mod wheel because that's something that's pretty common and uh, something that we've used before. But remember this this. The modulator actually won't really do anything as long as you, you know, if you don't have it set up right. So the only reason this is affecting the cutoff like it is uh, with the envelope and the LFO parameters is because, you know, we set up the mod wheel to control the cutoff on our ES2 synth. And the, the uh, 
and the LFO and the envelope is c controlling the mod wheel. So it, it's all about signal flow. You gotta, you know, you gotta know what's controlling what uh, in order for this to work, right? It's a very powerful MIDI effect and it's very cool to use and you get some very cool effects from it. But that about sums it up for the modulator MIDI effect. I hope you learned a lot this lesson. I hope you enjoyed. Again, my name is William. Thank you for watching.